My husband, 39 male, knows about my, 36 female, 6 month long affair but hasn't told me. What can I do? Okay so maybe let's start out with a little background. My husband and I first met when I was right out of college in a new city. He swept me off my feet and from our first date it was magic. We married 3 years after that and now we have an 8 year old daughter. We both work pretty great jobs and between caring for our daughter and work responsibility we are both busy people. But he always made time for me and treated me like royalty, even when I didn't do the same. Around the beginning of 2019 I became familiar with one of my co-workers, Nick. He's about my age and has a wife and three kids of his own. Nick and I started so innocent, we would go out to work outings together and sit close by and talk, I started sitting in his lap and we had some light touching but nothing too severe. I guess he reminded me of when my husband and I were young, there was a passion in Nick's eyes that drew me close to him. Eventually we started sleeping together. I knew during the whole time it was wrong but I pushed through, never once thinking about the impact it could have on my husband. This morning started off as usual, my husband gets into the shower before me every day and I snooze before I have to hop in too. He mentioned last night that he was going to stop by Costco on the way home from work today. So I grabbed my husband's phone so I could add to the shopping list a few things that I wanted. I know my husband's iPhone lock code so I went into the notes app to add what I wanted, and when I opened the app, it opened to a folder with dates listed on it. The dates started the first week of March, and continued unabated until last week. I curiously opened one of the dates and to my shock, it was a diary. I never knew my husband as the type of person to write out his thoughts and emotions. I read through the first couple entries of his diary and it broke my heart. The diary was all about my infidelity and how my husband was processing it. Looking at the dates that were listed he discovered my affair about a month after it became physical. I quickly locked his phone and hid it. When he came out of the shower I helped him look for the phone I hid, my husband has a work phone and a personal phone so he was unfazed about not being able to find it, he was on a time crunch and left the house with only his work phone. I called off work and read each diary entry. I feel like I may vomit, almost each entry for the first three months he discovered my affair were about how he planned on making her fall in love with me again. He had detailed in this diary the plans he had to make me forget about Nick, he talked about taking us on a week-long vacation so I couldn't see him, how he bought my favorite flowers and cooked my favorite dish but I continued to see Nick. As the time went on and I continued to tell lies to my husband. He would write in the diary about how his resolve is beginning to waver, how he is becoming sad and feels so lonely and unloved. After three months the diary entries became wholly about his sadness and how he cries every time he knows I am with Nick. He writes how every night before falling asleep he has visuals of Nick's body on top of mine, and how the visuals make him feel physically ill. He keeps writing in his diary how he doesn't want our daughter to grow up with divorced parents like he did. There is a diary entry from one month ago that stopped me in my tracks though. In the entry my husband talks about how one night when I was with Nick and he put our daughter to bed, he was crying to himself like usual, but the tears stopped flowing. He says that his body finally stopped producing tears for his failed marriage. He says this night was the night the band-aid fully came off. In this entry he talks about how this six-month-long process felt like a band-aid on his soul that was slowly being pulled off and how now the band-aid was finally off, he felt a wave of relief. Like he finally got over me. Two weeks ago he had another diary entry. In this one he talks about how wants to arrange to meet another woman. He writes that he doesn't know how to start an affair, but having intimacy with someone other than his wife will be an interesting experience. My husband knows my cheating schedule. He has planned on meeting this woman sometime that I am with Nick. I don't know what to do at this point. I am at such a loss. I am so ashamed in myself, the whole I kept telling myself that no one was getting hurt, that this affair would run its course and life would go back to normal. I never realized the pain and suffering that I put my husband through. I have cheated on him so many times, and he suffered through it. What can I do now? I am never going to cheat on my husband again, but it's probably too late to have this realization for me. Where do I go? What can I do? I know many of you will say some horrible things about me and that's okay, but please help me save the marriage I ruined. In your post, you said he wrote that he finally got over you. Sorry to say, but I think you've successfully killed your marriage. So that ship has already sailed. 
The real question is what's next and how to go on from here. Do I think you're going to stop with Nick? Probably not. Just be honest with yourself and please let your husband live a good life. Which probably doesn't involve you. My apologies for the harsh tone. Your post broke my heart for your husband. How can you possibly think that this would not have consequences? The first step is to tell your husband what you did, even if he already knows. He might still be willing to attempt to save your marriage, or he might really have worked through the pain and is now working towards an exit strategy. In either case, you need to tell him. You also need to have a long deep conversation with yourself. Why did you cheat in the first place? Are you still committed to this marriage in a way that you should be? If you are, then why did you feel the need to cheat? Be prepared for the most likely outcome of this situation, a divorce. But, if you're both still willing, try your best to save it with couples therapy and tons and tons of honesty. I'm hoping he will be willing to save our marriage but considering what I have put him through I'm going to let him dictate the terms of our future. Also I tried to have a conversation with myself to figure some stuff out but it really never goes anywhere, I will most likely seek counseling to discover the root causes behind my behavior. Thank you for the advice. I could shed some light. You like the chasing phase and since it wasn't your husband but another taken man there was the taboo for something forbidden. From that you completely neglected your husband. No special dinner or flowers or knock on the head was going to keep you from being selfish and getting what you wanted. You even state how your husband treated you like royalty and you couldn't reciprocate that to him. Then while in the affair fog you fog out your husband knew. Not that that really affected you because you bull crapped yourself into believing no one was getting hurt. Then the realization, maybe a glimpse from empathy, that you did hurt him when you realize that you're replaceable and that your husband's plans on starting his own affair, to try to even the playing field that you created with the imbalance now it's damage control mode because you're going to be in a broken marriage or divorced. That what you took for granted no longer is going to sit by and be your doormat. That you've lost something in long term and special for a man that has his own wife and family that he is neglecting. I think your remorse or wake up call is that you realize you've lost and lost big. Hopefully it's enough to finally take ownership and realize you're not special and not irreplaceable. That there will be another woman eager to have a faithful and diligent husband that she will proud to be with and will take care of him where your behaviors indicate if you're not treated like a queen or not in the beginning parts of a relationship, you're willing to look outside for that excitement. That really you aren't any better than anyone else and are morally bankrupt in how you treat other human beings.